Hello yogis, today's class is a yin yoga class with a focus on stretching the lower body. For this class, you may want to have a bolster, a block, and a blanket. None of these items are required, but they will help you get into the postures more comfortably. Our first posture is caterpillar pose. For caterpillar pose, you'll just extend your legs straight and you can place your bolster across the thighs, place your block on top of the bolster, and then allow your forehead to gently come to your block. Ensure that you have enough space for your nose and your mouth so that you can breathe comfortably here. Allow yourself a few moments to get out any wiggles you need. And once you've found a place of stillness, set your intention for your practice today. Allow yourself to fully embrace this intention and bring your focus and your awareness to your intention throughout class today. If your mind has started to wander, just bring your awareness and your attention back to your breath, back to the sensations in your body, back to that intention that you set for your practice today. Notice if there are any areas in your body where you're feeling tightness or tension. And just see if you can use your breath to release that tightness or that tension in that area of your body. Take a nice deep breath here and then slowly begin to transition out of your caterpillar pose and come into half shoelace or full shoelace, your choice. If you're taking half shoelace, you'll extend your left leg straight and cross the right leg over the left so that the knees are stacked and then begin to crawl your fingertips forward. If you're taking full shoelace, You'll stack both knees, the right on top of the left, bring your feet out to the side, sit up nice and tall, and then maybe begin to fold forward. If you're more flexible, you could even bring your head to a block. And regardless of which variation you're taking, 
Take a few moments to find a place of comfort and ease in this posture. Take several deep, deep breaths. And just take a moment to bring awareness to how your body feels in this pose. Are there any ways you can make your body more comfortable? Really just take the time to tune in to what your body needs. If your mind has started to wonder, bring your attention and your awareness back to the room and back to the intention that you set for your practice today. Nice and slow, we'll transition to the other side. Maybe shake your legs out for a moment here. And then if you're taking that half variation, you'll straighten the right leg, cross the left leg over so that the knees are stacked, and then just gently reach forward. If you're taking full shoelace, the left knee is now on top of the right knee, the feet are out to the side. You can either stay sitting straight up or begin to crawl yourself forward. And again, if you're more flexible, maybe you bring your head to a block and just gently rest here. Take a moment to notice any differences between sides and notice where you're carrying your tension and use your breath to release the tension and to find comfort and ease in this posture. Notice your thoughts. Are you focusing on the present moment? Or are your thoughts on the past or the future?
Slowly begin to make your way out of the posture. Maybe giving your legs a shake. And we're gonna transition into a version of sleeping swan with the wall. So you may want a blanket underneath your head here. You're gonna scoot yourself toward the wall and just cross your right ankle over the left thigh in that figure four position. Press your right knee away from you so that you feel a nice stretch through the IT band and the hips. And ensure that you're flexing your right foot to protect your knee. Take several moments to find a position that's comfortable. It can take a few moments to measure the correct distance from the wall for your body. Once you've found a good spot, begin to deepen your breath. And we'll just gently transition to the other side. Place your right foot on the wall and then cross your left ankle over the right thigh. Flex through your left ankle. Press your left knee away from you. Take a few moments to become comfortable. and then begin to deepen your breath.
And our final posture today will be legs up the wall. So you're going to want to scooch your sit bones all the way to the wall. Maybe bring a blanket under your head if it's not already there. If you don't have a blanket, you can always roll up a mat like I'm demonstrating and place it behind your head. You can allow your legs to be straight. Or if it's more comfortable, you can have the knees bent. This is a great posture for any time you're feeling anxious or stressed. And really just release any tension that's remaining in your body. Let go of anything that no longer serves you. Slowly begin to bend your knees and hug your legs in toward your chest. And then gently roll onto either side in the fetal position for a couple of breaths.
Take your time, gently press your way up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your heart and bow your head. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste.